Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. I've got a video for you guys to watch today. Uh, it's from the 2014 Australian Open Final. And our focus today is going to be on Robert Lindstedt, who's here at the net. He's got his partner returning serve. And I want to bring to your guys' attention uh, his main job uh, in terms of recognizing what his partner's return actually did to the opponents. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the play in its entirety. All right, so really sweet, quick play right there. Now, one thing I'm starting to see that looks a lot better around the club level in doubles is that the net player, for so often, uh, in the past, I'm used to seeing the net player looking at the server. And really that's honestly pointless. There's nothing about the server that should get this guy's attention. His main focus needs to be the net guy because that's who's closer, that is the threat. Okay, and around the club level, I'm starting to see a nice shift in uh, the focus of the net player. It's becoming much more on the net player, but what's happening is we're not responding well enough to what happens after the return crosses the net. And in this case, I want you guys to really take a look at Lindstedt's eyes after the return makes its way over the net. Okay, here's the tennis ball. Lindstedt has his eyes on the net guy because he needs to be aware if the poach is coming. If the poach does come, he's in a position where he's around the service line and has enough space between him and the poach volleyer to get his racket on the ball most likely. It's probably a defensive volley but he will have a play on it. Now, if the net guy up here does not make a play on the ball, and in this case he does not, we're going to watch Lindstedt's focus. It immediately, you can see his eyes, they're now out over here. And he notices that um, the server here, in this case Raven Claussen, has, has made a serve and volley play. And his first volley's from a really tough position down here. Any low volley like this around the service line, you guys, is going to pop itself up in the air. And therefore, it would make sense that as the net player coming forward makes a lot of sense here. Get yourself on top of the net for a put away volley. And there we go right there. So you can see, at the time that the return crossed, Lindstedt was unaware if, if the net player could get a racket on the ball, so he stays on the service line. And then in that instant that he realizes that the ball is cross court, he makes his way up here and he's very close to the net and can get this nice put away volley. Okay, so again, I want to compliment a lot of you guys on the fact that we're starting to be more aware of the opposing net player, but at the time that you see that they're taken out of the play off the return of serve because the return made its way cross court, I want to see, start to see more active footwork up here and more of a focus on the new hitter. Get your guys, get yourselves in. If a lob comes, don't worry about it. You still have a player back here at the baseline ready to cover the lob if need be. But we want to start to get really active in this position once this guy's taken out of play. All right? So that's all I got for you guys today. Go out and try to use that that piece of footwork and that, that type of focus around the net when your partner's returning serve, I think you guys will really enjoy it. And that's all I got for you. So please click like below this video. And if you guys happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks and we'll see you guys soon.